Hello everybody, uh, today we were going to talk about Shenzhen. Um, it's one of the world's most amazing cities uh, and I'm sure you're going to really love uh, some of the details here. Um, but basically uh, it has one of the world's largest stock exchanges um, and it also has uh, one of the largest uh, research networks, um, particularly for electronics. Uh, it's basically known as uh, China's Silicon Valley. I'm going to show you a couple different pictures. Um, it has a tremendous number of skyscrapers um, all over the place. Um, but basically, um, you'll be very surprised um, at what you're going to find here. So, um, But also, uh, it has a higher GDP than Hong Kong um, in terms of nominal GDP and Guangzhou, um, which is also nearby. Um, and it's one of the 10 largest economies in the world. Um, as the eighth most competitive uh, financial center in the world. Um, and that's it for the entire world. So um, this is not only just China, but everywhere. Um, and it's basically um, extremely awesome place for electronics. Um, it's basically known as the Silicon Valley of hardware uh, for the entire planet. Um, so I really, and it has the second number. <laughs> this is one thing I couldn't believe here, but it says here on this uh, thing here, if you read here, second number, largest number of skyscrapers in the world. So that's a tremendous amount of construction. Um, and, um, and and it's got the 19th uh, largest for scientific output. But I would say it's definitely up there um, for so many different factors. You definitely want to know about Shenzhen. Um, and just understand what's going on here. Um, we're going to look at each one of these areas. Um, we're going to try to see what is going on with this company called Tencent. Um, here's basically the building. It's a, just a ginormous building, very beautiful uh, building. Here's where it's located here. You can see, um, but basically, uh, if you know where uh, Hong Kong is, so basically this is the entire world. This is India, China, um, and basically Hong Kong is right in here, right? Um, this is primarily Hong Kong right here on these islands. Um, and then Shenzhen. So actually it's more important in terms of GDP uh, than Hong Kong. A lot of people just are not, uh, it's just a lot of real estate really in Hong Kong um, and not really uh, productivity. So uh, in terms of the Silicon Valley of, of the world, um, a lot of people would even debate that this is probably Silicon Valley of the world. Uh, certainly for hardware. Um, I was kind of surprised when I went into Silicon Valley. I worked in Silicon Valley in San Jose and I was just surprised to see that um, a lot of the companies are actually not producing things there um, locally. Um, and that may even be the case in uh, China as well. In some places uh, there may be factories are quite different. So, um, but here is the uh, DJI. This is a uh, kind of like a drone company and a really beautiful building that they got here. You can see that they're all located right in here. Um, but this main electronics district that we wanted to look at um, really uh, is, is a special area. This whole area is called Shenzhen. Um, I'm going to go through some more pictures just so you can see uh, what they got. Um, you can see just how mega city this is. So it's got you know, a ton of skyscrapers all over the place. Um, and you can see there's just tons of images here, and I, I don't know if I'm going to really go through all the images, but we certainly have a lot of different things going on in Shenzhen, and it's pretty beautiful too. You can see there's some beachfront here, um, and a big, huge lake, and some other things to look at. So um, definitely take a look at all the details for Shenzhen, um, but it's kind of a ginormous area, and I noticed that on the Wikipedia page, they, they also said there's another spot uh, that's pretty important um, to Shenzhen as well. So really, uh, it is important to know where Shenzhen is. Um, Taiwan is over here. The um, thing that really got me started in this whole understanding was really looking at how much China really is influencing the electronics market. Essentially 50% of the whole market, but actually 90%, I would say, um, is basically controlled by Asia of the electronics market. So that's a huge number right there that you should definitely be thinking about. So, and actually in Taiwan, nearly 70% of their entire economy comes, the net profit is actually primarily from electronics machinery. So basically Taiwan and China together really have a huge influence of almost 75% of the total market. And then when you add Korea, and really the United States right here, yeah, we do software development, but really there's almost nothing being done here in the United States. So it's certainly a huge area of um, work and things changing. Sorry, the dog is kind of going crazy outside. 
So you may want to look at the Harvard Atlas of Economic Complexity. What you can do is select electronics, and then you can even select the sub branches of the fields of electronics. If you're interested in batteries, vacuum cleaners, but this is basically for all electronics and uh, there's a whole lot of other areas including services so part of the reason is that services become pretty large um, for the United States if you look at here I'll just switch this to services and you can see that basically the United States does a lot of services and that's does include uh, software development I believe um, but there's a lot of differences between uh, the actual electronics industry and the services industry. So I was unable to find any uh, street view uh, for Google at all, but on the ground, you can start to see um, what this means in terms of the electronics industry. So it's just huge stores fronts, really based primarily right here in the SEG zone. This stands for Shenzhen Electronics Group, and they own a lot of these buildings in this area. It's actually um, state run, so it's not owned by any particular uh, company, but it is uh, run by the government. So, uh, and, and then there's a lot of smaller companies in here. But you can kind of walk around on the street view and start to see what it might be like to walk into this Shenzhen market area. Um, and this does not give you anywhere near uh, the size of the marketplace at all. So if you look at on this map, you can kind of see it's all clustered right in this region, SEG zone. Um, and there's basically some red dots here. Oops, it doesn't really show up. Sorry about that. Um, but a lot of the downtown stuff is here, but actually it's like, it's almost like the manufacturing is maybe out into the, even further out into the city, further out even into this area. Uh, but Shenzhen is quite a large area. Um, in general, so there's actually more land here um, That's one reason why they could actually build things here is because there's land um, where the factories can be um, built and Just wanted to show you what this looks like. It's not what you think at all. This is not like New York This is not like Chicago. This is um, I mean basically the second most uh, number of skyscrapers in the planet here um, is in the city and for that matter, it may be even more uh, nowadays. So the funny thing is that Hong Kong actually has the most number of skyscrapers, which is right next door to Shenzhen. Um, and then basically Shenzhen in the United States. So basically you can start to see uh, the number of skyscrapers. Dubai uh, isn't even close. So it's almost twice the number of skyscrapers as Dubai and uh, twice of Guangzhou and even twice of Shanghai. So Shanghai is a major city, but uh, Shenzhen just has a ton of skyscrapers. But look at the number, look at the skyscrapers here um, just in Hong Kong. That's pretty unbelievable number of skyscrapers to think about. And one thing to think about is that if you combine Hong Kong, Guangzhou, and um, Shenzhen together, you probably got the largest city in all of China in this region. So it's super important to know about um, just how many people are in this region right here. Anyway, I hope you really enjoyed the study of Shenzhen, China. Um, there's just so much to look at here. It's a really beautiful, amazing city. Um, and I really hope you get a chance to study in some more detail. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd be glad to look through some details with you and help find some work in China and work with you on a project. Thank you so much. Ciao.